How's it going, you glorious Rascalian bastards? The name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Wavering Waves. And if you haven't figured it out by now, it's all about Chang Li. The channel is going to be dedicated from this point onwards to my main waifu, to mommy, to the mistress of my heart. Today, we're going to be discussing a bit of an overview video all about Chang Li. I, I'm telling you right now, I am the most happiest person there is. I've been playing this character so far. I've been going through different things. We're going to go through some things with her in this video and just let you know this to me is absolutely the best unit in this entire game. Believe it or not. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best unit. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome to the fire starter, the immortal blaze herself, Chang Li or Chung Li, depending on how you want to pronounce. It. I know some people pronounce this Chang Li, and I know some people pronounce this Chung Li. Even the English voice actor pronounces this Chung Li. So we're going to go with that instead, Chung Li. Street Fighter name. Perfect. She is a main damage dealer. We could tell you right now, we look at the combat roles. She is very much a, deals higher damage with resonance scale damage, provides fusion damage application for specific teammates, and provides resonance liberation damage application. She would be considered more as a sub DPS, but that's not how I'm going to be using her. I'm going to make her my full main DPS that is going to be on my team. I'll put it like this, disclaimer wise. What you're going to see on this channel, and if you don't like it, is going to be nothing about Chung Lee. Streams, everything, this is my main DPS. I'm putting everyone else on the back burner. I am going to perfect her team. I'm going to make her work as a main DPS because she just nukes the entire field. From just playing with her and getting her to where she's at right now, it's beautiful because we haven't gone out and we haven't wailed. So you're not going to see, you know, a full-blown level of summon six on this because i want to make sure that for people out there that when you're going to look at this character you're going to see from my point of view from a a progression trust me before august 15th she is going to be summon six i am going to spend the money right now we got her at summon two so this basically allows us you know which i think normally most people would be doing this as well as getting the weapon because You'll be probably trying to pull at least two or three summons on the character. You'd be like, hey, you know what? That's my budget. I'm good. And you would be also working to get the blazing, the blazing brilliance, which is her main weapon. So that way it, you know, complements the character. We'll get to the blazing brilliance here in a minute. But first and foremost, let's go through the summon chain real quick. Well, we're at right now is on summon two here, but our first one is hidden thoughts with the resonant skill here and, and the heavy attacks flame sacrifice will increase Chang Li's damage dealt by 10% and resistance to interruption, which is great. The pursuit of desires is where we're stopping at right now, which is increasing her crit rate up to 25% with the when, uh, inflamments increasing. For eight seconds, we have future wise, we're going to be going into learn secrets. This is where I if I were to stop, if I were to stop on this character, this is where I would stop at budget wise, is that I want the alt to be here. This will increase the alt damage by 80%. That's a big fucking number. To see that increase by 80%, it's not 120, but that's still great. This is where I would say that budget wise, if you win your 50 50s, everything else, this would be the best spot that I think you could stop at right now. I'm not getting there just yet because I'm waiting on, I, I pretty much, I got delayed on payment with a, with my uh, paycheck and everything. So we're going to have to wait an extra day in order to go ahead and pop in some more money to summon for more, more for her. Um, Polish words after intro skills cast all team members attacks increase by 20% for 30 seconds. That is great. Sacrifice gains 
is going to be her summon uh, one, two, three, five, which is going to be heavy attack, flame sacrifice, multiplier will increase by 50%, and damage dealt will be increased by 50%, which is really fucking good in my personal opinion. And then her last one, which is the summon six, resonant skill, uh, flames here, and attack and heavy attack, flame sacrifice, and her alt will ignore 40% of the target's defense when dealing damage. You already get within the skill tree from going all the way up to here, I believe, yeah, where you, if you do any of the three, Chan Lee's fusion damage will increase by 20%, but she will also ignore 15% of the target's defense when damaging. So you get 15% with the 40%, boom, there you go. Guess what, people? You get 55% dealing, uh, bypassing the, the target's defense. It's beautiful. Her attacks are all fusion-based, all normal-based. Her skill is where all the damage is truly going to be at. And this is where I'm going to focus heavily on my attention and making sure that the Forte circuit and the resin skill are the first two that I'm going to max out before going into the alt and before going into any more with the normal tech or intro skill. So first and foremost, I would suggest get the Forte circuit. Get that to 10 first before doing this. But I'm going to try to balance this out a little bit more. My personally, me personally, I would do like, as you see, Forte's at eight. I'm going to get resonant skill at eight. Go back to Forte, go back to skill until both these are maxed out at 10. Because with <clears throat> her skill, True Sight Capture, after releasing resonant skill, Chain Lee dashes towards an enemy, enters True Sight, lasts for 12 seconds, and in the end releases a plunging attack dealing fusion damage and has two initial tips and can be used up to two times. It's beautiful. Same thing for Conquest, pretty much. Same principle, same idea principle. And same thing for the basic attack when True Sight, if Chain Lee jumps or use basic attack, she releases uh, True Sight charge, dashing towards an enemy, dealing fusion damage. Consider it, and all of this is all considered as skill damage. So when you're tuning echoes, we want to make sure our echoes are going to be, rep or going to be complementing the resonant skill damage. That's basically what we're going to make sure of. Looking at the Forte circuit real quick. Heavy attack, flame and sacrifice. When re releasing the heavy attack, if Chen Li carries four stacks of, of inflamement, she will consume all stacks of inflamement to cast flame and sacrifice, dealing fusion damage, which will again be considered as resonant skill damage. And while casting flame and sacrifice, Chen Li takes 40% less damage. Inflamement. Chen Li can hold up to four stacks of inflamement. Chen Li uh, obtains one stack of inflamement for every basic attack. True Sight uh, con uh, Conquest on hit. Chen Li obtains one stack of inflamement for every basic attack. True Sight Change on hit. Chen Li obtains four stacks of inflamement for every resonance of liberation. It is beautiful. Like, everything about the character is absolutely batshit fucking great. I... I I can't stress it out any more than that. With the Forte circuit, second uh, part right here, upgrade. Chen Li releases basic attack or basic attack true sight for charge. Stack inflamed Chen Li's fusion bonus. It will increase by 5%. And then all the way to the top, as we already discussed, this is where you'll get a 20% increase as well as ignore 50% of the target's defense. These are all your basic, you know, increase attack and increase crit rate. That goes all the way up to the top. Her intro skill, when Chen Li appears in midair, attacks the target, true into true sight, lasting for 12 seconds. We already went to normal skill, and then with her alt, deals fusion damage to nearby enemies, obtaining four stacks of inflamement, and enters fairy, uh, fiery feather, and can be cast in midair. Fiery feather, when Chen Li releases heavy attack, flame sacrifice within 10 seconds, her attack will be increased by 25% until after the fiery feather ends. It's beautiful. And as you can see, my shell coinage has dropped drastically from just upgrading because look where we're at right now. We're at like 70,000 and 50,000 and we're not even, we're just like three levels and two levels right here away from this. You know how much, like dude, like I would be only able to do this one more fucking time for, for the, this forte right here. So we're gonna need to build some more shells. When it comes down to the echoes, so far my recommendation on this is yes, you're going to want to use Infernal Rider. I am going with a crit rate to help get that crit rate up a little bit higher since the sword does help. 
crit damage probably would be also a good one to go with but what i'm going to wait for is when another fusion boss comes in and then she's going to change to a 44111 stat i know a lot of people are going to probably disagree with that idea but i truly believe in 44111 personally i believe in raw stats not all this but for what we're doing right now we're doing a 43311 and we're going for main stat crit rate attack because I want that extra percentage right there for the 22 percentage. We're going to try to focus, like I said before, resonant skill damage increasements. I'm even doing alt, and if I can get heavy attack, because heavy attack will be converted into resonant skill damage, I want to make sure that we, because it's going to be considered, uh, yeah, it's going to be considered, heavy attack will be considered as resonant skill damage in the future. So I want to make sure that with each and every one of these, that Crit rate, res of skill damage, heavy attack damage, alt damage, all of this is somewhat, somewhat, even energy region is getting to be a complement within all of the echoes, being a sub stats of some sort. These aren't the perfect echoes at all. This is just something that I put together as fast as possible just to get the unit going. That's it. Because I want to get the five unit bonus, which I think this may is going to be the best thing, which is upon using resonant skill, fusion damage increases. We also get the fusion damage plus. So doing a 50-50 here, I is not going to work personally, in my personal opinion. Do what you want to do, boo-boo. But for right now, we're doing a 4-3-3-1-1, all fusion for her. And it's working out so far really fucking well. So let's get to the next part real quick. And the best thing to do is if you are getting a new character and you should do this anyway to get more of an understanding of how the character works in a sense is that you can come here to skill training, scroll over to whatever character you just got. In this case regards, we have Chang, uh, Chang Li right here, Chung Li right here. We'll go proceed. We already do, did this. And this is going to help you out. I will say this for anyone. This will help you out if you can't figure out certain things, give you a clear idea of because it's going to explain to you what everything does. Now, Chung Li is a complete button mashing character. She's like Jin Yan in that regard. There's really no strategy to her. She is a feel good character coming in and beating the shit out of things and blowing them up. But you see, Chen Li's basic tutorial right here perform four consecutive hits and enter true sight. So, boom, 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 boom. And then it shows right here. After casting, we can just go ahead and keep... You can just keep mashing it, to be honest. And boom. You go to true sight. Same thing for this. Instead of doing the square, you do jump. Oh, sorry. I fucked that up. Because you got to wait for it to come onto the screen in the bottom. Like that. And she does a launch. Scale right here. After releasing the resonant skill, Chang Li will, rap will, will rapidly attack the enemy and introduce uh, sight, lasting for 12 seconds. Simple, easy, perfect, good, perfect fucking character. You just want to delay a little bit on pretty much your uh, true sight at the end. But we can jump. We have mid air combos into a heavy. It's a beautiful character. Like, I am sorry. I, I love this character so much, man. It's everything I ever wanted in a character. Her damage, everything is so great. With her alt, in particular, when we're, we'll be dealing fusion damage, and we'll have four stacks of inflamement, and we'll enter the, you know... The fairy state, the fairy, the fiery feather state through here. But this allows us to do it twice. Once. Oh, it didn't show it. It didn't show it properly. I'm sorry. But basically, you could technically, you do it once, and then if you don't hit the square button, you'll fuck it up. But if you hit the square button right after doing it, you'll be able to basically do this at one more time, and it does tremendous amount of damage. I was doing some side quests and everything, playing with her, and dude, I swear, I, I'm in love with this character. Like I said, 
all my resources is going to be placed into her. Like, there is no doubt about it. And who more brilliant to go test this all out on than the Fergarian fucking monkey has got damn self. We're gonna do a little bit of gameplay on this just for you guys to get an idea of just basically how she works. If the camera angle would work. Alt. This. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and heal. So when it comes down to your healers, I think that, you know, Ren or Baichi here would be perfect perfect units to go ahead and support her for healing that's what i'm going to end up probably doing myself is to pick one to two but to make her main dps i think that the best character right now to run with her and i don't really want to use this because i'm gonna have to uh, i'm gonna have to upgrade her but it's tau big titty tau here is going to be the best unit so far because of her outro skill in particular which we can take a look at real quick is that this is going to help the incoming resonator has their resonant skill damage amplified now with also coming into play we have uh zishi or whatever her name is the nerd waifu food is going to be coming in with the glasses she will all she's going to be also good i believe in that regards because she's going to give you a 40 percent attachment a 40 percent increase on your resonant skill damage which i'm reluctantly going to probably put that more on jinshi because she is also a nuke but i would think that she would also work well with chen Li as well from what we've seen with the leaks but that's not until august 15th so until then since chang Li's chung Li's uh her entire kit is going to be based around the resonance skill this is the character set that i would probably would go with with this one here, I'm probably would end up going more since I'm not going to use her. I'm going to tell you right now for my team composition, Tao is going to be getting a shit ton of energy regen because I'm going to need her to pop that outro skill like more uh, like Morpha, Morphe over there Let's does for uh, Jinshi. I need that consistency. I need it to come through. But to go ahead real quick, we're just going to go through, through this, this boss fight real quick. Get this thing going. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. I got your back. Victory. I want to get the, my blade. This is what I really want to get real quick. No biggie, just a scratch. Come on, Fergonian monkey motherfucker. I, I don't have these characters <laughs> built up in the regards. Oh, she died. That is not good. I was trying there because I don't have her built up, to be honest. And I'm not playing properly because I got dogs in the background barking, and I apologize for that. They're supposed to be quiet, but hey, we can do it some much, right? Whoop. All right. I want to build up the skill so that way I can bring her in. There we go. And you'll see the damage output that's going to come from this. Like I said, I believe that once we get the proper echoes, this is just going to be really, really fucking good. And that's what I'm working on. But I think that should be good for enough of a video for you guys. Do apologize if the gameplay was a little bit shitty there in the end. Apologize, dogs distracted me a little bit there. But until next time, guys. You know, I'll catch you on the flip side. And if you like the video, you like the channel, you like Wavering Waves, and you want to be part of a community, you want to help build a community, and not be stuck with some of these other content creators that may, you know, treat you like a child, you want to come to a place where we'll actually work together, and I'll try to communicate with every single person. If you notice in my comment section, I try to respond to every single person that leaves a comment. By all means, go ahead. Subscribe to the channel if you got criticisms, even provide me those criticisms. I all of it helps in all general. And if you love Chang Chung Lee just like I do, come on. Welcome to the new Chung Lee channel. But again, guys, take it easy. 
I'll catch you on the flip side. And we do live streams here on YouTube. So I'll see you tonight if you do happen to see the video and do come on to the live streams. So take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.